Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another GTA 5 tutorial video. This time we're looking at how to replace the sirens for your use within LSPDFR. The pack I have chosen is the Modern Siren Pack 3.15. You will also need Open IV for this. You should have this from video 1. If you don't, head over there, check out how to get Open IV installed because you're going to be using it a lot from now on. This is how we mod in PEDs, this is how we mod in vehicles. And it does look a little bit confusing, but once you get into it, it's not too bad. So this is the Modern Siren Pack. So head over to LSPDFR. It's called Modern Siren Pack. If you head into audio and sort by most downloaded, it's the first one that comes up. And to be fair, this is what I do with a lot of my mods, because I'm like, well, which ones do other people use? Which ones work? Which ones are the most downloaded? So I quite often just sort by most downloaded or most reviewed, just so I can kind of get a gauge of what the community is playing, because if it works for them, it's going to work for me. So I'll click on the Modern Siren Pack, and then download it as always. Once you've downloaded it, drag it into your Downloads folder. So remember, we created the Mods folder. So I'll just drag that across here. Mods folder, as you can see, if I look down this list here, Modern Siren Pack. I've then extracted it into here, Modern Siren Pack. We're going to open it up. We're going to open it up again. And these are all the sirens within this like pack, so to say. There are loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. However, most of them are in here. So this is where the pack stores all the sirens that you want to put in the game. If you want to add some more, all you do is say, right, I want the signal core. I want, see, there's loads, isn't there? Um, this Amiga. And all you do is click and drag those into your vehicle file here. And then that'll save it into the game. I'm not going to mess around with any of the sirens. I'm just going to leave as is in the little default pack that's already in there. I'm going to open up Open IV. And then we're going to start getting these sirens installed. Remember, most of these will have a README file. So I'm just going to double click on the README file. And there we go. It tells me exactly what's in it, what's happening, and how to install it. It might, may look complicated. You'll soon understand how it goes. So here's the manual installation. So it tells me exactly what to do. So I'm just going to drag this across to my second screen and open up Open IV. And let's see if we can get this in and people can still see. I'm sure we can rearrange this a little bit. There we go. So the mods folder, as I said, very important you have this created. And also just drag update and x64 should be in here. Update and x64. Just click and drag from your main directory and put them in the mods folder. The game will load what's in the mod folder. So whatever changes you make in here are fine. And if you do something horribly wrong and break your game, you can just delete what's in here and the game will just use the backup files that are on properly. So yeah, it's one of them things. Just drag update and x64. It'll take about 5-10 minutes depending. So, what it wants us to do is to open IV, want to go to the X64 folder, uh -huh. then click audio, audio, then we're going to SFX, and then a resident, uh, there we go, and then it tells us to start editing mode, so that's exactly what we're going to do, we're going to click edit mode, and click yep. Any changes are automatically saved, so always be a little bit careful. It then tells me, to import the open formats so you click on there you click so that's just right click in any of the white areas click import open formats oh, i was hoping it would just select the file so i want to go downloads mods go down to modern siren pack modern siren pack vehicles.oac click open click ok and then that's done Easy as that. Click off edit mode. So that well, I always do that just so I don't mess anything up. Come out of here. And that is your siren pack done. Easy as that. You can install British, English sirens. There's French sirens, Belgian. Anything you can think of, there's a siren pack for it. I do run a lot of English mods in mine normally. But the only problem is there's not many as many cars as I would like. So I tend to leave mine quite American. But it's the same fit for the British sirens. Exact same process, just put the vehicle file in there and your sirens will change. And that's that. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching. See you on the next one. Goodbye.